Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a web server in Microsoft Windows environment. You can create a web server in Windows Server, for example, Windows Server 2016 or 2019, as well as you can create web server in clients such as Windows 10. I'm going to create a web server in Windows Server 2016, and then I will also create a web server in Windows 10. I'm in the server manager of Windows Server 2016. From here, I will select add roles and features of the server manager and go through this add roles and features wizard. And go next. Here in the select server roles page, there's an option called web server IIS. I will select that option and then confirm add feature and then go next, next, next again, next, and install. The installation is complete and as you can see there is an IIS item in the dashboard so I will close this wizard now if I go to the tools menu of the server manager I will see internet information service or IIS manager this has been added and from here I can manage the websites under sites there is a default website and i will be able to access this website by going to a browser since i'm accessing the web server from the same machine where the web server is running i can use localhost and this is the default web server page i will minimize this browser screen here on the default websites item it shows the locations of the files it says system drive inetpub www root so i will open file explorer open system drive which is the c drive and then inetpub and www root then i will edit this ias start HTML document with a text editor such as notepad and then I will remove pretty much everything and will keep only very basic and type in some text such as web server in windows server 2016 and then save it i will go to the web browser and then refresh the page and you can see the page content has been reflected here now if i want to access this web server from another machine such as windows 10 first i need to make sure that there is a connectivity between this client machine and the server so I log in and I will open command prompt and ping the web server's IP address the web server's IP address can be found on the local server item of the server manager and it says 172.16.0.10 so i can use that ip address to access from another computer first i want to make sure that i can reach that server so i'll ping 172.16.0.10 and these two computers can communicate so i'll close this one next i will open web browser 
and I cannot use localhost here because localhost means the same computer where I am using the browser. The web server is located in the other computer. I can use its IP address. And the web page was loaded. Also, we can access the web server by using the domain name. In that case, we need to have a DNS server running in the domain. So let's go to the server. And as you can see from the dashboard that there is a DNS server running. And also the domain name is adatum.com. Let's take a look in the DNS server configuration. I will expand the forward lookup zone and the domain name and I can see there are different host records. I can use a computer name in the host record and then append the domain name at the end. For example, lon tc onedatumcom to access the web page. So I'll go to the client machine and then type in lon tc onedatumcom and the same page has been loaded if i update the page for example so i'll save it i'll go to the browser and refresh the page that means I'm accessing by the computer name dot domain name and it has been updated. Usually people on the internet or users don't know the actual computer name. Instead of using actual computer name, we can create a common name such as www. So I will go to the server and configure the name that we commonly use for the web server. Here in the DNS manager, I will right click and then select new alias. And then alias name is www. And fully qualified domain name becomes www.eratum.com. And for this name, I have to point to a computer that already has a host record. And then I will open the domain name and point to a computer that represents the web server which is this one 172.16.0.10 i select that record that says same as the parent folder i can also select other records such as this one which represents a host record for the computer name of the server and its respective IP address. So I will click on OK. And this record indicates that when we browse www.eratum.com, it will actually get the content from lawndc1.eratum.com which essentially means the web server itself. So I'll press OK. Now an alias name has been created. You could also create this www record as a host record instead of alias name record. And in that case, you would put www and that represents the host 172.16.0.10. The end result is the same. Now users don't need to know the actual computer name for the web server. They can simply use www.adatum.com. So I'll go to the client machine and then browse the page by www.adatum.com. It's loading and it did load. To confirm that it's coming from the web server, I will make a little bit change in the page.
So I go back to the client machine and then refresh this page www.adatom.com and I can see that the content has been changed. Creating a web server in Windows Server is pretty straightforward. Next, I'm going to show you how to add a web server in Windows 10 environment. So I will go to Windows 10 machine and then from the start menu, I will open control panel. And then I will select programs. Under programs and features, I will select turn Windows features on and off. Here is a list of features that we can turn on and off. And from this list, there is an item called Internet Information Service or IIS. So I will select that option and then press OK. the installation is complete so I'll close this one and also I can close this window now I can go to the start menu and search for IIS that will give you internet information service or IIS manager I will open IIS manager the computer name of this Windows 10 machine is W10-C1 I will expand and then I can see sites and the files for this default website are located under system drive that means C drive inetpub www root I will open that location and this is the HTML file that I will see if I browse the page so we'll go to the browser and then since I'm accessing from the same machine as the web server I can type in localhost and that's showing the default web page on this Windows 10 machine now I will edit this file I may not have permission to edit this file from this location so I will copy and put in desktop and then edit from here I will keep the content as very simple then I will save now I close this file I will copy this file and go back in the folder C drive inetpub www root and then I will paste here and then replace so I will go back to the browser and then reload this page and I can see that it is coming from the web server installed in Windows 10. To access this web server from another machine, I can go to the Windows server and then open Internet Explorer and type in the IP address of Windows 10 machine, which is 172.16.0. Dot 100 and I can see the page 
there is no domain configured for this web server. If I want to create a domain for the web server running in Windows 10, then I need to configure the DNS server in Windows Server. But normally a server will not run in a client machine such as Windows 10. A server will run in a Windows Server environment for various reasons. Anyway, if you want to create a web server in your machine, you don't have to have a Windows Server machine. You can do it in Windows 10 machine as well. That's why I showed in both Windows Server as well as in Windows 10. And that is the end of this video. I hope the video was helpful. Thank you for watching.